What's good sports gamers? If you're struggling at the play telling yourself not to swing at that O2 dirt ball and you still do it, this is the video for you. As today I'm gonna go over with you some more hitting tips you may not have been implementing in your game to help improve your hitting in MLB The Show 21. So all right, let's get it. One of the top pitches players, especially on the lower ranks of Diamond Dynasty struggle to hit consistently is the fastball. I mean, we all wanted to throw our controller when you know they're throwing the fastball and you still miss it. When you find yourself swinging laid, very laid, or straight whiff, you simply were not ready to hit it. So in order to start hitting these with any regularity, you have to envision that the next pitch is gonna be a fastball down the middle or up in the zone. Assume they're gonna throw you a strike until it's clear they're not. Every pitch, you have to expect that that is gonna be the pitch. If you're not anticipating that the next pitch is gonna be some type of high heat for a strike, you're not gonna catch them to it consistently to make solid contact. So you always have to be on with whatever pitch they throw. You can cheat your PCI up to account for this or have it in your head you're gonna react as soon as the pitch confirms your thinking. If you're looking at it like, okay, if he throws a strike, I'm gonna jump, oh, the ball already got past you. Or you just had a very late swing. When you think they're gonna throw a meatball, you're locked in and focused, ready to hit the button as soon as the pitch confirms your thinking. Now, if you do so and you start getting early swings, you're on the right track. It's just you're not letting the ball get to the plate. In your head, it's now fastball. Oh crap, it's actually a fastball. Swing! And you just hit an early foul ball. You still have to let the ball travel to the plate first. Now, I'm not saying swing at the next pitch regardless, but have the mentality that you're gonna do it. If you're expecting fastball, you can't be surprised by a fastball, you know? And of course, it's way easier to sit fastball and adjust to off speed or breaking than it is to go the other way. Okay, now you're looking for fastballs and ready to hit them. But coming up to hit, you wanna have a game plan when you're at the plate for when it's not a fastball in a sweet spot area. On the lower levels, if you're just reacting, you're gonna bite on sliders down and away and junk pitches a lot more. An easy one is during three two counts, the best hitter count you can get. If your coach isn't Tony La Russa, you're gonna wanna be aware if they throw you something to hit so you can smash it while not swinging at some bull crap out of the zone. So it can help you to look in one specific location for one specific pitch. And if it's in another area, you lay off of it. This will keep you from chasing the ball out of the zone while still being ready to crush anything in that one specific spot. If they sneak a strike down in the zone, that's okay. Now, if you're struggling to get good contact or hit the ball at all, one of the simplest tips I could give you is to either take the first pitch of the at bat to reset your mind and get a really good look at the ball out of the pitcher's hand. Because swinging at junk or missing your PCI placement obviously is a result of not seeing a ball well. So just sitting back and eyeing the pitch can possibly help you be able to recognize pitches better to hit for power. Or again, on the first pitch, only telling yourself to swing if it lands in a certain spot. So you have built-in patience by only looking at one area while being ready to strike. A different way of looking at the pitch window that I've had recent success with is instead of staring at where the ball appears like your life depended on it, I've been doing weird stuff like starting your gaze off to the side somewhere. I even started looking way up here a couple times and slowly bringing it down to the window a split second before the pitcher releases the ball. With this method, it definitely has helped me not chase and when they're in the strike zone, crush curveballs a lot easier. For real though, I smashed them things with this method. And fastballs up in the zone as well. Because you know you're slowly moving your vision from left to right or right to left, you're gonna notice a lot easier this white circle pop out of the pitcher's hand for a curve or come in really fast high for a fastball. Try it out and see what you think. Another way to help improve your success hitting is figuring out what your opponent likes to open each at bat with and what is their out pitch to get you to strike out. Sometimes you will find obvious differences in how he pitches to similar left-handed batters, for example, with the same rating, and then you'll be able to take advantage of it. I noticed one guy kept throwing Tatis high fastballs and Arenado sliders away. Next time Tatis came up, I was sitting fastball and got him. Just being aware of stuff like that can steal your run. And making note of his out pitches can help extend in the bat for you, as you don't swing on that 0-2 guaranteed dirt ball, or it can help you get around on the up and in fastball you knew was coming. Lastly, but just as important and builds off the last point is knowing what pitch and pitch sequence, if you didn't get a hit, got you out last time. It can help you get a leg up on your current and future at-bats. We're all creatures of habit, especially if it worked. 
And the best thing about baseball and MLB The Show specifically is even if he got you to pop up on the fastball, you can still make an adjustment to make sure that won't happen again. A big help is by hitting right trigger on your controller, you can view what pitches your opponent threw last at bat to the hitter and what ultimately got you out. Sorry sports gamers, hope this video was able to help you out. And if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.